Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. Okay, so first I picked up two of these gingerbread houses uh, plaques from the Dollar Tree, these wood plaques, and I'm removing the windows, three windows and a door. And the reason why I'm using two plaques is because they're not the same. One has two windows and the other one has a window and a door. And I wanted three windows and a door. So that's why I did that. So I'm gonna paint it with this nutmeg acrylic paint from Apple Barrel and I'm gonna paint the windows and the doors white so here I have everything painted oh and I painted the frosting up top white also so here I'm gonna glue the doors the door and the windows back on but first I'm gonna add these glittery green trees from the Dollar Tree they're made out of wood as well and I'm just gonna add those real quick because I want to make sure the windows are gonna fit just right if I added the windows, the trees might not fit, so that's why I did that. So now I'm, I'm good to go with the windows, I'll add those. And just be careful with this part because that hot glue is hot. And these little lines are a little tricky. But there I have it. So now I'm taking these two Chanel sticks, one is the glittery red and one is the white. And I'm just going to twist them together and form a peppermint kind of look if you will and I'm just going to hot glue them real quick with a couple little dabs of glue that's just gonna be another dimension of texture so far all I have is wood so now I'm taking some of these little mesh lights from the Dollar Tree and I add some batteries and I'm going to hot glue those to the gables or the roof just a little bit of glue, not a lot, because I don't want to ruin the lights. So just a little bit of glue. And I use these clips that you get from the Dollar Tree's um, laundry section. They're for laundry, but you know what? They're great for crafts too. It's a little hack. So I use those to help hold everything so I don't have to burn my fingers. And then I just glued the battery pack on. And I'm good to go with that part. So now I'm taking this little bit of this little tiny sprig off this uh, little bundle Christmas decor floral and I'm just going to create a tiny little wreath. I just want a tiny little wreath. So I add a little bit of glue and glue it into each into itself. Sorry that I'm out of frame for here, here for a second but it's just for a second. So I'm just adding a little bit more glue and adding some of the little pieces to make it more full. I don't want it to look bare on one side. So I'm just continuing to add the little sprigs to make it look nice and full. And now I pick up some of this candy cane stripe ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well and I cut it in half down the length, make a quick little bow. This is going to be for the little wreath and this will just add another dimension of texture to my plaque. Snip off the ends, add a little bit of glue on the wreath and place it on there. Put a little dab on the window, put the wreath on there and I'm good. So now I picked up this fabric at Walmart and I mod podged it to a piece of foam board actually no it's a poster board and also I picked up some of this cute ribbon from the Dollar Tree with the little graphics on it and I mod podge that on some poster board as well and so I'm going to use this ribbon I'm going to be cutting out all the little pieces on it to use it as embellishments for the gingerbread houses so I just add mod podge on top and on the bottom on the underneath and on the top. So I just use these to embellish the houses and you can do it as you'd like. I decided to put them on the sides make it kind of look like peppermint columns and you'll see later on I use them on the birdhouses as well but you can place them wherever you'd like. So now I'm pretty much done with this gingerbread plaque for now. Not completely done but for now I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna work on the gingerbread men. So I'm taking these cookie cutters from the Dollar Tree and some of this air drying clay 
also from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to create some gingerbread men or a gingerbread couple a man and a woman so I'm just gonna work the clay and if it's a little thick you can add a little bit of water just keep it moist and kind of press it down and do like you're making real gingerbread cookies or or cookie cutter cookies sugar cookies and you're gonna make two or you can make more you can make as many as you'd like I decided to make two just for this little scene but they came out real cute just let them dry once they dry they're a little light but I was fine with the color I decided not to paint the actual gingerbread men and women so I'm using some of this caulking from the Dollar Tree and one of these uh, piping kits from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add the, the gingerbread man and the gingerbread woman some hair give her a little bit more hair than him now I am not a cake decorator at, by any means so <laughs> be kind <laughs> but here I'm just gonna add some little snow to the plaques some on the bottom and some on the top and I'm trying to be careful not to cover up my lights because my lights are on there so I just go above the lights and I also go below the lights try not to get it on the gingerbread house itself so I just work on it until I'm pretty happy with it and if you mess up you can use any kind of like little stick I'm using a bamboo skewer and then also later I do wet my finger and use my fingers but make sure your fingers are wet if they're not wet it'll just stick all over your fingers so those are just a little couple little hacks there little tricks but you know do as you like but this is gonna be cute it's gonna add another dimension another layer of texture super cute so I just keep working on it so I'm happy with it and now I'm gonna add the little pieces from the ribbon that I Mod Podge onto a uh, poster board I cut them out with my scissors and now I'm cutting some of these little pieces of the of the bamboo skewer and I'm going to create little lollipops on the front so I'm just gonna hot glue the little tiny pieces of bamboo skewer and some of the little peppermint candies from the ribbon that I cut out or should I say ribbon cutouts so I just keep working on it just trying to make it look cute and you can embellish these any way you'd like I tried to make this as much Dollar Tree as possible the only thing I used that wasn't Dollar Tree was the stripe fabric but the ribbons Dollar Tree the the chenille sticks are Dollar Tree the everything else is Dollar Tree so and I'm just working on it embellishing and you know you can do as you like I, I just wanted to give it a cute look so now here are the two little bird houses from the Dollar Tree and I'm taking my pliers and pulling off the little the little perch stands the little sticks on there and I'm gonna paint them in the same nutmeg apple barrel paint and I'm going to use more of this caulking but I am using the tiny little tip instead on this one I used a star tip on the other one although you really couldn't tell because I am not a professional <laughs> But, uh, but I just piped it as I'd like and then I'm using some more of this striped fabric that's on the post board to kind of help hide the holes and the and the openings of the birdhouses try to create little doors and windows and here I'm gonna pipe some more of this caulking on there just give it a cute look and here's my my fingers are wet here so I'm, I'm pushing it down and I continue with the other house and you can do as you'd like so I go ahead and frost the houses and the roofs as you can see the roofs are different on these two houses but so far they're looking super cute they're looking like gingerbread houses so I just continue to work on it take more embellishments Put more glue I decided to do little shingles on the roof so now I'm gonna paint the gingerbread men or the gingerbread man with some of this blue paint 
give him some, give him some clothing <laughs> I give him a little outfit and I'm gonna paint hers pink a fuchsia pink give her a little dress and I'm taking some of the white paint and just give it a, giving their little outfits a little bit more detail not too much because I am not a painter either and I'm taking this black marker just to draw their faces I'm gonna keep a, I'm gonna keep it simple and they're done okay so now I decided to make some trees for the little village so I'm taking these little party hats from the Dollar Tree snipping off the elastic I don't need them but I'll set them aside for another project and I'm going to paint them white and I'm taking some of this mesh tubing from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm taking some of these red chenille sticks and I'm gonna put them inside just to give them a little bit of uh, thickness and they're easy to put in they fit right in and you just have to kind of like snake it in like wiggle it in but they go right in but just work your way and get them in there or you could just use the regular chenille sticks that works too I just decided to do this so here are my little hats all painted and so now I'm taking my chenille sticks and I'm going to I'm going to take the white ones and tie them together ahead of time so I don't have a difficult time later and I'm just kind of poking them through the very top hole just a, a starting point and I add some hot glue to help keep them in place and th that way they don't slip out add a little bit of hot glue to the side and I'm just going to roll it on there just kind of spin the, the little hat and you're just gonna work your way down until you have the whole hat covered in chenille sticks in this candy cane pattern it's pretty easy just be careful with the glue can use those finger protectors if you need to but again I get to the end and so now I'm gonna use some of these clips again they are very versatile very helpful and they're they're gentle they're not real difficult so so here's my little my little uh, I almost said hat <laughs> my little tree and I'm taking some of these pom-poms from the Dollar Tree's Christmas section and I'm taking a big one for the top and some little ones. I'm just going to place them wherever you could tell that the chenille sticks were joined together. So I put those there to kind of hide the little flaws here and there. And that just adds the ornaments. So now I'm taking some of these wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree and some of these little pots that I had from succulents. Su some of the succulent plants that I used at another project and some foam that I had remnant pieces from another project and I'm going to create little stands for my trees and it's just as easy as gluing it all I'm taking some of this white microfiber cleaning pad and I'm just gonna add that to, to kind of make it look like snow and I'm gonna add it to my tree and I'm done <laughs> 